All right, welcome back guys. Ryan Lasagna here. Today I'm going to show you guys how to navigate YouTube Creator Studio. So you can see I'm logged in as Cajun Chef, which is another one of my channel names. There's two ways to get to it. If you click on the menu drop down on the side of YouTube, you can go to my channel. From my channel, you can click on Video Manager along with seeing all your other channel stuff. And here is Creator Studio. All right, so the second way you can do it is by clicking. Once you're logged in, you can click on your icon up here and then go to creator studio and that takes you to the same place so if you see at the top you see your views subscribers this is what's called the dashboard you can actually set up widgets videos I have if you have the TubeBuddy which I highly recommend TubeBuddy is great uh, you'll see a little TubeBuddy integration here you'll see analytics that show last 28 days but you can change that tips what's new you can basically customize your dashboard page to show you whatever you want Go to Video Manager, and here is where you can see all your videos. I don't know most of you guys who are advanced or who've had YouTube channels for a while, you already know all of this, so this video is really not for you, but I appreciate you watching it anyway. Here you can see and edit and do things in bulk. So if I click on the checkbox, it selects all videos on this page, and then if you want to choose everything, you can hit select all videos. If you have a lot of videos, that is something you may not want to do because it will take a long time to process. But you can do actions like monetize, you can change your privacy. So if you have a lot of videos that were demonetized or unmonetized for certain reasons, you can go back here and monetize and then apply that action to all videos, then it just makes it a lot easier. So the TubeBuddy app again allows you to do some pretty cool things like um, Basically, just customize your videos, cards, end screen, annotations, that kind of thing. And I can make a video on that later if you want, but for now, I'm going to focus on Creator Studio. And you can also go into each individual video and edit all of these certain things. You can download the video as an MP4. This is your video manager screen to manage all your videos easily. Playlists will allow you to manage your playlists in a similar fashion. Playlists are very important, so do not forget to create your playlists and add your videos to them because it actually creates another content ID and YouTube treats it as a whole nother video. Live streaming, I don't really, I don't use live streaming, but this is where you would do it. Community, this is where you can actually interact with your audience. So you have a published comments held for review. I check these periodically. My phone does a good job of showing me all of them. So I usually know when like this, I don't, I'm assuming this is spam. I really have no idea what this is or what this says. Published comments, I'm sure I could go to Babblefish or Google Translate and figure it out. But this is a pretty centralized location of where you can view, comment back, reply to all your, your fans. Messages, people can send you direct messages like they did here. And usually it's spam for me, but it might be something real. You never know. Subscribers, I'm just going to kind of go over this with you. So this shows you your subscriber list and you know allows you to export with TubeBuddy you can export your subscriber list community settings this is something that I really once you kind of said at the beginning I leave it alone you know you block words approve users I don't have any hidden users block users or anything like that um, all my comments are allowed because I, I I believe in engaging in my audience I look forward to comments so that I can reply and and, and establishing that relationship that relationship between the viewer and the creator is something that I consider important, and I think that's what separates YouTube from TV. The credits, I don't have any credits. Channel, status, and features. This is where you can kind of get an overview of all your features, and they do a really good job of displaying this. They show you what's enabled and what's disabled. I'm not eligible for paid content yet because I'm, I don't have a thousand subscribers, but I'm close. So we'll get to that pretty soon. So Super Chat as well. Super Chat is pretty cool. People can actually, if you're, if you're streaming live, they can donate money while you're live streaming. So it's pretty cool. Uh, but everything else, uploading, video editing, those are enabled. Monetization, this is where you would be able to view your monetization. All of these, however, are down below as well. So monetization, you can go here. I can do another video on how to set up monetization if you guys want, so just let me know. It Basically with AdSense, that's how you get paid. That's one of the ways you get paid from YouTube if you want to strictly get paid from your YouTube videos using ads. There's other ways and I can go into some of that as well later on, like affiliate marketing and things like that. AdSense settings, you can review or change your AdSense association. Again, 
Once I have my AdSense association set up with my Google account, I pretty much leave it alone. Now, if you join, like let's say you were to join a, a brand or a, um, a partner, they usually take over your AdSense account and then they pay you. They take a cut of that. So if you do that and then you leave, you got to make sure that your AdSense is back associated with your Google account so that you can continue getting paid. So your upload defaults. This is another one that I set up and I don't usually check back. I will, however, change this because I want, if it's unlisted, you can't schedule it. If it's private, though, you can schedule it. So uh, I, I learned that the hard way. I posted it un, unlisted, and then it actually made it public but not listed. So you can't go back and schedule it. So if you want to schedule it but still make modifications before you schedule it, I always do private here. Category, that's going to be up to you. You have a bunch to choose from. But this is a cooking video, so I'm going to do how to and style how to cook in my instance uh, no default title because my title is going to be different every time but I do have like a um, I do need to actually change this to this link is not correct so I'm gonna leave it as please subscribe to my channel uh, and then I have my Facebook and all my other social media sites here so this will automatically show up in the description of every single video I post these are custom tags these are tags that are going to show up in every video that I post so all these are going to be automatically selected such as monetization and things like that. Uh, we could do automatic mid-roll ads as well. These are all things that I've learned. When I first set it up, it was kind of kind of bare, but now I'm adding more things to it. We're gonna save that. With TubeBuddy, you can actually set up profiles for different types of videos. So that's another pretty cool feature with TubeBuddy. I think that may be a, nope, you can actually do it with the free version. So this is the upload defaults. Now on the featured content. And this is all high level overview. So I'm not really explaining much of what the individual things you can do within Creator Studio is more just showing you kind of how to navigate it and what to find in what tab. So featured content, this is where you can have your featured content uh, and it's right now I have it set to my most recent upload. So the next video that I post is going to show my other recent video. The one I did right before this one should pop up after at a start time, which you specify of 30 seconds. And then you can select your channel ad. So you can actually, I'm actually going to do that. I'm going to choose my channel ad. I'm not really sure why that wasn't in there. Doesn't matter. So now I have my channel ad. And that channel ad is basically an ad that describes your channel. And that is the featured content page. Branding. This is where you can do a watermark. I have my Cajun Chef logo. It's just something tiny. And I want it to start and stay there after five seconds. So that's pretty, uh, another thing that I just set up. Once you get your watermark set and, and added, you kind of leave it alone. The advanced setting under channel, you can, if you go to change the account information, it'll bring you to your Google Plus account. This is where you have your channel keywords, the country. Um, you can allow advertisements to be to be displayed alongside your videos. Uh, it does not apply to videos that you monetize. So I have all my videos monetized. Oh, but it says all the videos that are claimed by third party. So I don't have any of that set up. AdWord linking. This is where you can link your AdWords. AdWords and AdSense are different. AdSense is how you get paid from ads. AdWords allows you to promote your videos, and but you pay for the ads that you put out. AdSense is where you get paid from the ads that people click on. So there are two different things. They're both Google. Uh, you can associate a website if you have a website. I don't have a website for the Cajun Chef, so I actually do have a website, but there's nothing on it, so I'm not going to associate that here. Channel recommendations. Allow my channel to appear in other channels' recommendations. Yes. <laughs> Why would anybody not want that? I'm not sure. Subscriber counts. You, uh, you ever go to somebody's website and they just have a subscribe button, but then no list of how many subscribers they have? I choose to display the amount of subscribers I have, not to hide it. But this is where you would do that. Uh, Google Analytics property tracking ID. A redirect URL, which I have set to YouTube.com. We're going to save that. 